Today we're going to um, have a go at this little fella. Um, it's a Thwaites dumper truck. I'm pretty sure it's Corgi, Thwaites dumper, yeah, Corgi. I don't think it needs a lot doing to it really. It's just a case of a, you know, respray to the correct colour really, and the bar, the bar on the bottom is slightly bent. That can be um, sorted out. So. Um, the only other thing I think is a transfer that goes on the side there, saying the Thwaites or Thwaites and Co or whatever it says. I don't know. Some sort of sticker goes on there, but I'll have to look on the internet for that and try and reproduce that and stick it on. I ain't going to go spend the money out just for that. But this is one of the um, other little models I had in that box of goodies video what I showed you earlier, a couple of videos ago. So let's get on and um, get this one stripped apart. I think the first bit, I think you get the man off first, because the man, is, I see there's a Phillips screw right down in there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little Phillips screw there. If I get me screwdriver in there, I can get that man out. So just unscrew that carefully. I don't want to strip any threads or anything like that. Yeah, it's coming out easy enough. I mean, getting it back is going to be another issue altogether. <laughs> but, you know, somebody got it in there in the first place, so somebody can, well, me, <laughs> should be able to put it back again. So, bloody hell, this is a long screw. When does this end? A massive great screw. I thought it'd be a little dumpy little thing. What well, is a dumper truck? After all, dumpy, never mind. Look at the length of that screw. Blimey, look at that. That's a, that's a long screw just for that. Just to hold him on. And there he is. What a place to put a hole. Anyway, he can be um, cleaned up and uh, in the old bath. Get all the muck and rubbish off of him. Get him repainted up. There's a hair there, and I can't get it. There it is. Yeah, I got some paints. So I can repaint him up and get him looking nice and new again. He actually looks like all well, the sideboards he got. He looks like a monkey, actually. <laughs> But anyway, next bit is these rivets here. I think I'll leave them actually for a minute and concentrate on these here and get these out. See where that takes me. Right, let's get this drilled off a minute. I think I need, I don't need to use the other drill for a minute, I can just go straight ahead and get the top of the rivet off because it's not that deep actually. before so I'm not really sure how this comes apart I don't want to damage it I'm gonna to have to take these out I think so I should give them a quick drill just take the edge off of them so it allows it to pop up oh 
hopefully that might do it get my other screwdriver here in there so I'll start prising there yeah something's moving now we've got movement folks so hopefully that should be enough to get this off get the undercarriage off under there. No, I don't want that bit to move, do I? It's gradually, gradually coming loose. It's going to take a bit yet. A bit more prizing. There it goes. Don't be afraid of anything when you do this. I mean, just go for it, you know? I mean, that's all you got to do is just go for it. There's a little piston there that's come out. That's, I think that's what was stopping it. Because that's got to, obviously got to go underneath. Underneath there. So so does the work of the dumper. You know. But it's come off that. So. Let me just check to see where that piston goes. Oh I see. It just locks. When you lock it back together. The piston locks in. Piston locks in behind this piece here. You can see that bit there. This piston, you, when you put it back together, you must apparently, I suppose, you must have to do that. Get that to sit in there and then pull it out like that. So it locks in. But anyway, we'll come to that when we. The engine should just pop out through. We'll come to that bit when we get to it, sort of thing. Or is it in the bottom? Ah, it pops in the bottom that there. That's where the piston goes. So when you stick it back together, just make sure that piston piece there is in there. So it shuts like that. But there you go. Well, I've been looking at this, <coughs> and to get this piece here off I need to take this off really because this has got to be a different color than this this is obviously red and this has got to be yellow so the only way I can see is I'm gonna have to take these wheels off on the front the back ones ain't gonna matter but these front ones is gonna have to come off so I'm gonna have to fold the edge of that down just so I could so I can um, pop the wheel off and then somehow get the dumper part off but you've got to be very careful with this because I don't want to burn the wheels so I'll fold these down slightly because that can always be rounded over slightly again Or even you could even put a bit of um, super clay because I ain't going to be too fussy with this restoration like that. I mean, it's just it's just for a video for you folks, really. I mean, I just want it to look better than it actually does at the moment. So I'll get on with that in a minute off camera because I do want to see me following all that. And I'll um, come back to you right in the next scene. I managed to file a bit more off, and I'm in the process now of just getting this wheel off. It is coming off. There you go. That's that one off. Now I can get rid of that. And I can get all that out of the way. And now it's just this little bugger here. I've got to try and get this off somehow. I'm not too sure how to do do that actually. I'm a bit stumped because it doesn't come out very much enough to file it. So whether it would actually punch through, I'm not sure. But I will do it. I won't let it beat me. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to punch this through on the voice I think. 
So I'm, I'm going to have to put like a where that is because it's in set into there you see you can't get anything in there to file the bit off so I'm going to have to go this side and actually try and punch put it in the vise and just punch this force it through to get this pin out and then obviously when you put it back it still swings because I can super glue that back, back I know it's not meant to be super glued but that's what you do when you restore things you've got to you know get around it by doing things like that because you're not going to take it apart again so I'll see where I can get this off now and then I shall start stripping the parts well I'm back folks quicker than I thought it was a lot easier than I thought all I did I had the there's the pin I could have actually filmed it I thought it was going to be a long drawn out process but the pin was like in there and all I did is I got my special adapted screwdriver and I put that on the top like that give it a whack with the old well pair of pliers actually and it just it just popped out so it was easier than what I thought it would be and there's the pin there now come out ever so easy right so anyway that's, this is easier than I thought it was going to be so now all we've got to do is strip this bit Strictly this, there's the original colour of that. Somebody's gone and painted, some kids gone and painted it white, I suppose. Not always like when we were kids, we used to paint everything up, didn't we? <laughs> but anyway, that's what I've got to do is strip back now, strip these wheels. They can get stripped. There's the axle, so then chuck they in like they are. Strip all that together and all that. And then, um, there's a case of repainting paint matey up in the in the meantime while I'm waiting for everything else there's the engine that just needs a quick paint a bit of satin paint paint on that the steering wheel needs a repair actually but I don't know if I'm gonna bother with that I haven't really got another steering wheel to go on it so I might just put a little bit of glue on it to hold that to stop it going any further give it a quick paint over and try and do something like that just to make it look better and then whack it back in there there's a bit for the piston all that is is a little plastic piece it goes over a pin like that there's a pin in there that so all that does is goes over that like that and there you've got your um your piston so i took that off because i'm gonna treat this with a caustic soda and I'll, if i put plastic in there there won't be anything left so then I won't be bothered. But anyway, let's get on with the next bit. Right, as you can see, I've just stripped all this now. And I've given it the old um, Dremel treatment with the old wire brush, this one here. Well, this one here, as I, I use one of them. I mean, any hard to get places, you can always use a hand brush, but I find the easiest way to get the most of it off is to use my Dremel treatment on it. It's not a Dremel, it's a cheap Parkside version, but that's all I can afford, I'm afraid. But, like I say, I've cleaned all the parts off. Nice and clean now, all the old paint's gone. That looks like brand new again. Brand new parts again. And two wheels that went on the back here. I've got the axle all cleaned up, and there's the seating part all cleaned up. So the next part now is uh, to spray it up. There's the seat part. That's how it goes. That at the top, red on the bottom. Oh, I've got to bend this bar. <clears throat> right now, looking at this bar, I reckon. Usually, what I do is put a blowtorch on it, but. I've got a feeling this is going to bend back quite easily without using it. I'll put my glasses on a minute. <clears throat> I reckon if I go really careful with this, I could do this with my pliers. So, what I'm going to do is just, I've got flat, I, I haven't got no um, no pattern, like no grip, grip anything on these. It's like smooth ones. And then, all I'm going to do is just try and squeeze it against the pliers like that 
as you, like you can see like that that and try and squeeze it against itself like that so as I'm not able to snap it and there it's, it's starting to bend already that like I say I usually put a blowtorch on it to warm the metal up because die cast is a right pain to try and get back to shape again but if I do it this way just gradually squeeze it there's a good chance I can get it to go back without the blowtorch treatment it's starting to go back now it's nearly there Now, if I can try and slightly, I'm going to get it in there now. Just try and work it against. Put my nose and my pliers in this bit, like that. And I can try and work that outwards. Just by twisting the pliers like that. Just twist them. And there you go. Now, look at that. Straight as a die. It's like magic, isn't it? That's all you. To, that's all you got today. There, I can't get no straighter than that. Magic. No, it's a bit windier today, so bear with me. I'm hoping this is going to go on okay. Few like passes to start with. I'm actually running out of this yellow. I need to get some more. I'm hoping I'm gonna have enough to cover what I need to. I'll do that piece and then Yeah, this can is on its way. Of course the wind didn't open, blowing most of it away. Where can I put that? Leave it there for now, like that. Put the old stand on that. Stop that doing anything. Right, I'm okay with the red, I know that. Got plenty of red, so. <coughs> sort of environment <laughs> see this is what us restoring people have got to put up with I've only got a little shed as you can see and you can only just try to do your best with what you've got <laughs> can't do much more better than that I'll stick that under there for now and then these other two little wheels, I've stuck them on a bit of um, metal for now. Wind, go away. Oh, blimey, it's a big gust. Get more over me bloody hands than I am. The, get more over my hands than I am the, the actual wheels. But there you go. That's what we've got to put up with. There. Alright, that should do that for now. Anyway, I'm going to put a few more coats on this. Off camera, of course. When it's less windy. And then the next part will be um, putting it back together. So until then, be in a few seconds. Right, so while we're um, waiting for the... Um this year to dry we should get on to the humbrels and we're going to paint this we're going to paint this one give him a bit of a touch up get my 
bit tidied up and then um, all my tyres is clean, I've cleaned the engine. Look at, look at that, it's all nice and clean. I managed to get the paint off. I've got to do a little repair to that. But this little chap ain't too bad, but I think we're gonna have to give him a quick clean up. So let's get on with that. Just thought I'd show you, I don't know if you remember seeing the steering wheel before, but there's a piece missing out of here. And I said I wasn't going to bother with that, I'd probably leave it, but I spent ages, I managed to get a piece of wire, and I got it cut to the right, so I bent it and got it right, and I lost it. So I, what I've done, I've got a piece of plastic, all I did is I had a cable tie like that. And I've got the cable, I've groaned all these little knobbly bits off of so much of it, a bit, you know, how much I need, and smoothed it out. And I've used that, and I've put that in there like that. So when that's painted up, that should do the job. So I'm going to get on and paint that up, and I'm going to finish the man, and then I'll show you the results. Right then, I've painted up Joe Blogs here, and you can see he looks a lot better than what he was. It's, he looked a bit worse for wear before, but he ain't come out too bad. So let's get to putting this one back together then. So I've got all my stuff laid out. So I, I mean, I've never took one of these apart before, but it's pretty straightforward, I think, put back together. Of course you gotta put your bits in here first. The steering wheel, I didn't say. I managed. I painted it up now. Like I showed them before, I put that piece of plastic in and it ain't too bad. It's better than what it was. So what I'm gonna do with these bits when I put them back, obviously your steering wheel goes in there. I'm gonna put a little dab of glue on underneath just to just to hold them there, you know like like there for instance, you know. So let's get me get me a little bit of wire here. It's just for a bit of um you know security really to make sure it does hold in there. So you just get your see that clips back goes goes in and pushes back this way. But with the glue on it it's gonna it's gonna help it along you know it's gonna help it stay there in it i mean when it was new all these bits would have just clipped in and been rigid like but seeing i've been interfering and taking them apart and all that now they they do loosen up sometimes so i don't have to just put a little dab of glue just to you know just to make sure and the engine I'm sure what way that goes round. I think it's that way. Or is it the other way? No, it's that way. It's only going one way, I think. That's got to go. Let me see. See, even I don't know how to put this back together. I should think it would be that way round, wouldn't it? Yeah. So you put it in upside down. Yeah, there it slots in quite easily like that, see. So what I'm gonna do is like I've done just now. Now I know it goes in, put a little bit of glue on each rail like that, just to hold it there for when I turn it upside down because it's gonna just drop out else. So you need a little bit there like that and a little bit there. Cause this will all I mean if you did have to take it apart again it would all come apart still with just the same. You know, you wouldn't have to worry about it. It would just crack open and that would be it. 
the super glue and the super glue is what they say it is. And there you go, you just drop it in like that. So we'll let that dry a little bit. Otherwise, we're gonna have problems. It's gonna come off again, isn't it? Right, <clears throat> the dumper truck. I've got my wheels back on. That's the front. So the dumper, you've got this pin. And that's where this little piston piece goes on to. So you push that on like that. Like so. <clears throat> then the dumper goes in there. Like that, somehow. I've got to get this. Or is it the other way up? See? I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, it goes in there, that's right. So that, that's the back. That dumper bit fits in there. In the O there. And then your actual other parts, you've got to reach there like this. Now this is the awkward bit. I've got to get that pin back in there now. Well, I put it on its side. It's, it's this pin here what I thought I'd have trouble getting out. That's going to drop down through. And I think all it is is just a case that's giving it a bit of a tap. So bear with me folks. It did come out very easily. So I'm hoping it's going to go back in just as easy. Actually I might be able to push it in with the pliers actually. If I go like that. And there you go. That's how you do it. It just popped in with the pliers. Just squeeze. All I did was squeeze the pliers. Between that and the pin. And it's gone in. And then all you got is you make sure that piece lays in there. Make sure it lays in there when you put it back together. When you put the top back on. And you should be laughing. Just put it out like that, that so you can see it easier now. See? It just, just lays in that little groove. <clears throat> right. This here should be alright to turn up now. And this here bit, just what I've done, what I've sprayed out, I've, I've just filed the edges of these, the tops, so they'll slot back in the hose a bit easier. Right, so if I line it up, see, this is going to be the awkward part now, just getting this in. Right, that's going in. That's gone in. It's not looking, it's coming together, folks. Not looking too bad. I am drilled them out. I am drilled, I am drilled these two out. I just took the heads off of there because I want it to look original. All I'm doing is putting a rivet in the back where it had a rivet before. So with this bit, now I've got it sorted. I'm going to take it off again and just put a little dab of glue on there. Just take it off a little bit. Just so I can leave a little well there. And put a little dab of glue in there. And then that'll, that'll hold them to you. Like that, you see. And that'll hold them to you. Well, needing the rivet and the back rivet would be the main one so I just pop it together again like that just let that dry <coughs> see see and I'm going to put your back one in I've got to get a rivet for that one I'll just let that dry for a minute before I do any more with that. <clears throat> In the meantime, 
I'll put my wheels together. Go on, proceed through there. The easiest way for that is just tap it down so far. There, got one on. I might as well put the tyre on that one now. There's his tyre. And then it's just a case of putting the other one on. Let me sort out a rivet for this um, back here and I'll be right back. And within the flicker of a scene. So I sort of rivet out for this now. I've put it I've just put a little bit of glue in there now. So get me a rivet. Put me a rivet in the end. Give you a good good push down there. Get in the seat nicely. Hold it there for a while. There you go. That's all nicely riveted back. These still look original. Now it's a case of just putting the axle through. Get another wheel on. <coughs> so for that, you just simple as that. Put your wheel on there like that. The best way actually is to push it through from the bottom like that. If you put that underneath, <coughs> put your wheel down there like that, and then put the pin like that. Then you'd be bashing, you'd be bashing the actual pin, not the wheel, just to get it through. So you just you only need something small. through now see don't be afraid of it and there you go it's gone through there now now what i usually do because to get this off i had to actually file some of that down although i didn't file all of it down i wanted it to be a nice fit when it went back on i mean it shouldn't come off but i normally put like a little dribble of glue just to hold that because your wheels are still going to go round you're still going to get your wheel going around because the shaft will go round, see? So it'll still move around the light. But I just put a little bit of dab of glue on the end just, just to secure it. That's all it's for. Because your actual, your axle will actually do the movement for your wheel. So you just put a little bit right on the end. And you see what I'm doing here. I mean, some people, they, I mean, that, that chap in Australia, he's actually made a, it's amazing what he's made, where he's, he's made this tool where you can, like, bend, you know, or, um, round the ends of these pins off again. Uh, just put it forward like that, and let that, let that set. <clears throat> but he's, he's actually made a tool you can, like, he puts it under the under his bench drill and he pulls the, the drill down like that and it rounds it's like a it's like a nail type thing with a, like an indentation in the top and it goes down and it sort of rounds the end of the pins off just like they used to do it in the factories he's quite a clever chap actually he's done quite a lot of good stuff but anyway then all it is done is just putting the other wheel on this is a bit loose actually, I might have to... No, they're not too bad I suppose. I was going to say I might have to put a bit of glue on the actual wheel to stop it turning, but... I stop the tyres turning because the tyres are a bit loose, but no, you know. Ah, he does what he mean, what he's meant to do, that's the main thing. Anyway, me rambling on like an idiot. There's only one thing left now. Joe Bloggs. Let's put him on. So you got the O there, that. Put that on the O there. And then we 
going to put that long gigantic screw back in, which I haven't lost. I've still got it. Seeing it is so long, it should actually be easier to get it in this O, you see. And there it is. And you get the O. Screwdriver. Old, old Joe Blobs. Keep hold of him. And screw him back on. It's a long old journey with a screw. But we'll get there. Let me just screw him back on like that. Be right about a decent Phillips screwdriver. Well, I actually did it in the end. I've screwed it in with the same screwdriver. I couldn't find another one, so I just carried on and screwed it in. But there you go. Not too bad. There's the dump bar opens up. Not too bad at all. What do you think? Better than that was, not it? The bar is all straightened out now on the bottom that. And that's the finished article. So, um, I hope you enjoyed that little video. So be back again. I'll be back again as soon as I can with another one. But for now, bye bye.